Hello my sweets, welcome back to another DIY. So today I'm going to share with you something that I have put away and never posted, but then I decided I'm gonna go ahead and post it for you guys. So you're going to need a foam board from the Dollar Tree and it's going to measure, you're gonna cut it out in a circle obviously, to measure 20 inches or whatever size you want. And here I'm using my E6000, very important, and with the hot glue. Hot glue alone is not gonna hold this, and this is a 12 inch mirror, I believe. So you're gonna find the center of your foam board and you're gonna glue your mirror. So here I have the spoons that I've used many times before, and I'm just gonna show you really quick um, how, I just, how quick it is to just snap them apart. So now I'm gonna use some pearls that you can find at any craft store. And so what you wanna do is that you wanna place your pearl I would say about an inch away from the edge of the mirror because you want to allow some room to so that you can go ahead and place your spoon your rounded part of the spoon so you want to come down like I said about an inch so I've shown you this technique before you want to apply some glue on the back of the spoon and on the edge they are very important I've done many other projects using this, these spoons, so if you haven't seen my other DIYs using these spoons, go ahead and check it out. So like I said, I believe that this is 12 inches, this mirror, but if I am wrong, I will go ahead and leave the correct size uh, down below in the description box. So now we're going to move on to our next flower and what you want to do is want, you want to leave some space in between so you, want, you don't want them so close together but you don't want them too far apart either. So you kind of have to measure it out before you glue it down where you want to put your next pearl so that you can give the spoons some space so they're not overlapping each other if that makes sense so you'll see what I mean. So as you can see, I'm using about six little petals, as you call it. And I would suggest that you use the E6000 for this as well, along with your uh, glue. So as you can see, I applied some bling wrap along the edge just to give it a finished look. And now we're just continuing to go all around, spacing out our flowers, and we're just gonna finish the entire thing and that's it that's what it's looking like so far and so those little gaps that you see there I'm grabbing some loose pearls and I'm gonna go ahead and apply them to our mirror every so often just to fill in some of the gaps and this is what it's looking like so far I think it turned out really beautiful I, I'm holding it up with a black bow you can certainly use any color that you like and please excuse the background is I'm in my daughter's room and if any of you have teenagers then you know how it is to have a teenager what a bed what a bedroom look like when it belongs to a teenager so please excuse the messy background but I did decide to give this to my daughter and she really loves it yeah, just let me know what you guys think down below. So for our next DIY, you're going to need two of these soda bottles and they're two and a half liter. These are the larger ones, okay? So they do have some writing on them, obviously like the expiration date and that sort of thing. This comes off very easily with some acetone nail polish remover. It just comes right off. So you wanna go ahead and look around all over the bottle to see and just go ahead and remove the writing and then this part here you're going to be left with some excess so you might want to use some goo gun or soak it or something like that so here i'm using my hot knife and i'm kind of marking off where i want to and i for my first bottle i came down from the top eight inches then the second bottle was seven inches and then my last one was six inches down so please be careful when you're doing this, but you just want to create a little hole and then as you cut it all around, you want to make sure that you keep your, you hold your scissors as level as possible. And once you cut it uh, around, this is what it's looking like. 
So now we're gonna go into our kitchen and on a medium high heat, I would say on a skillet pan, you wanna lightly put your bottle there just so that it can seal the edge and give it a more leveled finish. And that is what it's looking like. So here I have my three bottles, as you can see. Once you put it over the heat, like I said, you wanna do it lightly, not for too long because it will melt really quickly. Now we're gonna remove that little white little ring around the bottle. And I'm using again my hot knife. This I got at Michael's. If you use your coupon, 50% off, you can get a good deal on it. And so now we're removing this part, guys. If you're gonna use this knife, please be really careful that you don't cut yourself. And I'm just removing any excess to give it a cleaner edge. But you're really not gonna see it later on. And so we had to interrupt the show here because somebody wanted to make an appearance on my video, this cute little kitty cat, and he was all scared and he looked like he was running away from somebody trying to hide. He was just so cute and I had to film it for you guys. But just so you guys know, I'm extremely, extremely allergic to cats. But nonetheless, he was really, really cute. Anyway, back to the show. So as you can see here, I'm using these two canisters or two glass holder from from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use this one here if you're going to use this one you're gonna remove the plastic uh, part and then it's gonna fit just just right but if you're gonna use this one here after you remove that see it won't fit snug so you're gonna to have to continue to cut in the bottle a little further down like right there and that's if you're gonna use that one. But I'm going to use the first one that I show you so I don't have to cut any further. So here I'm just um, trimming off, as you can see, with just some of my pearl strands that you can find anywhere really, and along the edge of the bottom there. One thing that I would tell you, just make sure that your hot glue is not, your hot glue gun is not that hot because it will melt the bottle. So you wanna put it on low, low heat when you're doing this part. So now I'm just cutting off like a little piece of cardboard, a little, you know, a little piece of paper or something that's gonna hold our um, flour in place that I'm going to uh, make on top. And what I did was that I applied a larger, one of my larger pearls, and then I'm just, you know, creating a flower. I'm just showing you different options of what you can do. And by the way, if you didn't figure it out already, what we are creating here are cloches, okay? And so now I grabbed this uh, mirror from the Dollar Tree. These are one of the newer ones, the smaller ones, because they were bigger before, but now they are giving us the smaller mirrors. But we're taking the candle holder, and I'm just gonna make a little stand here. And I've shown you this message, or, uh, this method already plenty of times. Is you take the acrylic diamond gems with the pony beads that you can find at the crafts section of Walmart or any beauty supply. And this is gonna help your gem to stand up straight on any flat surface. And I'm just spacing it out a few inches apart and I'm gonna go all around so that later I can go ahead and loop my pearl strand. And that's what it's looking like. So back to the bottle. <laughs> okay, so um, I already removed the plastic uh, part that it has there, and for this, I recommend that you use the A6000 or something comparable. Again, I don't recommend using hot glue alone because it will not um, stick, and it did fall apart on me. Okay, so this is one of the other mirrors from the Dollar Tree that I embellished with my. Um, acrylic gems and some smaller ones and I'm going to use this I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas on how you can use this as a base so that's another option so back to our bottle here I'm just taking our the acrylic uh, gems from the Dollar Tree and just going all around and kind of decorating it for this little part right here you can use hot glue this was fine they didn't, they didn't pop out or anything like that, but for the top part, you definitely want to use the 6000 or the fix-all from the Dollar Tree or something comparable. And that's what it's looking like so far. 
And here I grabbed another type of uh, mirror from the Dollar Tree and I went ahead and embellished that as well. And I just applied some of the acrylic gems and you can apply as many or as little as you want and we're going to use that as a base as well. And again, I'm just giving you some ideas, some options. This will look pretty, really pretty on the wall too. I love that mirror. So I went ahead and applied some of the bling wrap, uh, the gemstone stickers, and along the ledge there. So I was trying to make each one of them a little different, so I lined the bottom of all of them with the uh, stickers here. And then, as you can see here, I'm just applying every so often a little gem here and there. So it wasn't too much or over the top. And then for the other one, as you can see, this is, I think, turned out really nice. Apply it on top and then along the sides coming down. So like I said before, I created one um, eight inches tall, then the second one seven inches, and then one six inches, just to have a, a variety in sizes. And this is what it's looking like so far. This is the pearl one. I think it turned out really cute. Um, and this one, obviously, he's so cute. I'm holding a little bird in there. And just to give you some ideas, you can put a candle in there. Um, you know obviously for decor decorative purposes because this is a plastic bottle but um, you can put um, you know a candle in there and I think it looks so pretty sitting on top of the mirrors that I embellished and if you get a glimpse of the little uh, donut trinket trays from the Dollar Tree I thought those are really cute too and here again just letting you know that you can use this has you know a variety of uses you can put um, your jewelry in there you can display your favorite perfume bottle as I'm doing here and this time I put it on a stand on one of the uh, Dollar Tree candle holders and here with the little birdie um, he's not on the stand anymore he's just sitting there and here you can get a glimpse of the uh, macaroons that the Dollar Tree also carried I thought those are really cute too to be displayed so that's an idea to display those macaroons and those little donut trinkets as well. And here with the little with the little um, birdie. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think. Which one was your favorite? And I really do hope that you enjoyed the mirror or in the entire video. Let me know your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you really soon on my next one. Bye, everyone.